Welcome to this video showing you how to use the design step within Rockstick Transit Designer. When you add a transit, you get a selection of three different transit modes. The single solution mode uses only one Rockstick solution to cover your cable schedule. The multiple solution mode is a more advanced mode and lets you use different Rockstick solutions combined to solve your cable list. And in the cabinet solution mode, you'll be allowed to design on a surface placing your frames and getting the layout drawings afterwards. I will start by showing the single solution mode. I'll give the transit a name. Now I will use a predefined cable schedule for this example. Now in the product selector you can browse through the different Rockstick solution categories or use the ALT tab and the filter mechanism to your left. Here you can filter for instance structure of installation, mounting type, shape or demands. The using project tab is used to displaying all the solutions you've been using so far in the project. This is great for standardization. I will use a G6 by 3 for this example. Now the frame is placed on the canvas. To my left, I can see my use space. On the frame itself, I can see the dimensions. I can change these dimensions by clicking on the right pane and choosing another variant. When I change to a different variant, I will also see that my use space is updated. If I change the opening size, for instance, and the number of openings, the use space will be updated accordingly. Now beneath the size selector, there's another section where I can configure my frame for all my other settings, like EMC, frame material, attaching certificates, and so on. Now let's assume that you have an existing building with an existing hole. Then you can use the match hole feature. Put in the dimensions for the hole that you have. You will now see a visual representation of that hole. Now you can choose a solution size that will fit that hole perfectly. Now that's it for the single solution mode. I deactivate my match hole feature. To change the transit type, I go into my transit settings. I can change the transit type to be multiple solutions and click update. Now what you'll see is that the, the right hand pane disappears. I received a few new controls. The zoom control, I can zoom in and out. I can also use my mouse wheel, if I have one, to zoom in and out. If I click and hold my left mouse button, I can pan my view. If I click on the frame itself, I can see the settings for that frame. We've also received a set of new buttons where I can duplicate or replace that solution. If I click duplicate, I receive a duplicate of the solution that I already have on my canvas. I can then configure that separately. If I want to add an additional solution, I can do that here. And then that additional solution ends up on my canvas. Now these two frames are flush to each other and I cannot really control the position. If I want to lay them out on a surface, I can use the define area feature. Click here and define a surface to work on. Now a grid appears on the screen and you can drag and place the frames wherever you like. If I want to fine tune the position of one frame, I can click on it and set my positions here. Now let's look at the last transit type, which is the cabinet solution. Give the transit a name. You also define the area on your cabinet where you want to place your solutions. I will skip the cables for this example. I will find a cabinet solution that I like. I will use the CF832.
Now your first solution is placed on the canvas. I can now drag and drop it. I will like the bigger variant and I will duplicate it to find a rough layout that I like. Let's see. Now one feature is that you can rotate it, so you can set the rotation in the setting pane. Now when I have these roughly laid out, I can now fine tune them in the settings. There we go. Now I got all my three solutions laid out perfectly. And that's it for how to use the design step within Rockstick Transit Designer. Thank you for watching.